Hello everyone, Where did Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video note across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Thursday evening, May 9, 2024. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video. I'd actually like to see if you guys can, you know, get this video up to 150 likes. Let's see if we can actually make that happen. Also, feel free to share this video with your friends, your relatives, your church brethren and subscribe if you haven't yet done so feel free to also leave a comment down below letting me know what the that's been like here recently also feel free to ask any other related question that you might have about the future though they're near a specific era all right so let us take a look at this tweet from ben noel he's actually a meteorologist at the national institute of water and atmospheric research in new zealand and from time to time he makes posts about the atlantic hurricane season so as we can see he made a post today 9:14 a.m on may 9 and he stated the latest sub-seasonal guidance shows a convective pulse represented by the green color propagating into the atlantic ocean in early june this may be the first opportunity for tropical development in the basin coinciding with the start of hurricane season on june 1st something to keep an eye on and what is he talking about he's talking about all of these greens pushing eastward into portions of the atlantic right here we're not talking about the browns we're talking about the greens and if you actually look at the time frame at the top right here we can actually see all of what he's referring to we're definitely you know going to be well possibly getting some more convection taking place in the atlantic and who knows we might get in on some amount of activity maybe a tropical depression a tropical storm somewhere and we know as usual the beginning of the hurricane season we usually see more activity across the caribbean gulf of mexico side even although remember last year june was quite busy even across sections of the main development region We'll see exactly what unfolds uh, this year, especially with the very warm waters across the Atlantic. And I'll be here to keep you all posted. Taking a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening, we can still see that the entire Atlantic basin is being dominated by that ridge of high pressure that's responsible for sending the easterly trade winds across the main of Oman region into the Caribbean. And if we take a look at the visible satellite images of the Atlantic before the sun went down, we can actually see those low level clouds being pushed from east to west, all courtesy of that high pressure ridges easterly flow of wind. You can see the left, the leftover clouds associated with the troughs that have been affecting portions of the northeastern Caribbean, starting to depart and push eastward. We can see some isolated pockets of showers right there to the south of Puerto Rico, affecting sections of the Leeward Islands as well. As usual, sections of South America getting in on a lot of activity, stretching all the way from Costa Rica across the Panama era, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, and French Guyana as usual. Nothing new here at all. We will be talking more about the rest of the Caribbean weather later on. Let us focus our attention on the prediction that was made in yesterday's video about the weather across Jamaica for today, Thursday, May 9. It was stated that we would have received some amount of rainfall across sections of some eastern, central and western parishes in Jamaica. And if you remember yesterday's video, we actually highlighted the fact that more of the rainfall would have been confined to sections of northern Jamaica, especially for what the GFS was showing. And just for your information, we know that eastern parishes, we're talking about those parishes in the county of Surrey, so Portland, St. Thomas, Kingston, St. Andrew, central parishes, you know, we're talking about those parishes in the county of Middlesex, so St. Anne, St. Mary, Manchester, Clarendon, and St. Catherine, while western parishes, you know, we're talking about those parishes in the county of Cornwall, so St. Elizabeth, Westmoreland, Hanover, St. James, and Trelawney. While when we're talking about northern parishes, you know, we're referring to Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, and Portland. And what ended up happening? At 2.16 p.m., a post was made on our Twitter page at Weather Jamaica. Keep in mind that that post wasn't only made on our Twitter page, but on our Instagram page at Weather.Jamaica, on our TikTok page at Weather Jamaica, and on our Facebook page 
I would do Jamaica 876. So if you have one of those social media platforms, please ensure that you follow us there as we make posts throughout the day that you can't afford to miss because we don't make them here on our YouTube page throughout the day at all. So we saw the visible satellite image was posted at 2.16 p.m. highlighting the clouds starting to build across sections of eastern central and western jamaica but more so across the northern portion of the island so definitely a section of northeastern st andrew western portland section of st mary st anne section of southern trelawney st james westmoreland and hanover we're getting in on some amount of overcast skies if not some isolated showers then by 5 36 pm in the late afternoon hours we saw those clouds definitely building especially across the northwestern portion of the island so section of Shilani, st james hanover section of westmoreland and even northern st elizabeth got in on the mix so there is definitely some amount of overcast skies and isolated shower activity taking place across sections of especially northern jamaica today and we can see it all even better on the latest infrared well on the latest visible satellite images showing most of these clouds definitely pushing to the north and the west and we can even see some high cold cloud tops being blown off towards the south and the east we even saw one or two sparkling dots in there that represent a lightning flash or two across sections of maybe the cockpit country right here but as it relates to the latest infrared satellite images we still see some milky whitish colors right here across the west to indicate that we're still getting in on some overcast skies if not some isolated showers across some of those parishes the central to the eastern portion of the island definitely clearing out as those clouds are dissipating as it relates to the latest cuban doppler radar images we don't see much taking place right now maybe just a few isolated showers across the western portion of the island as it coincides with the clouds that we see on the infrared satellite images as it relates to the accumulated precipitation for the past 24 hours from the caribbean institute for meteorology and hydrology website we can see where we indeed had that rainfall across the island today so sections of some eastern central western parishes with more of that across sections of some northern parishes in jamaica so the weir it actually makes sense with the weir but the rainfall totals i'm pretty sure that it wasn't that much we know these rainfall maps aren't 100 percent accurate as it relates to the temperatures right now we can see that we have 26 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 27 degrees Celsius in Kingston and by about 3 a.m. on Friday temperatures should dip down to about 24 degrees Celsius in both Montego Bay and Kingston. As it relates to the temperature forecast for tomorrow we see Jamaica right here embedded in some yellows and some orange colors that we can see by the key on the right that represent even up to 4 degrees Celsius above normal temperatures. Keep in mind that this map is from the GFS and it's valid for 18 day on Friday when we calculate that that's 1 p.m. on Friday. So it doesn't look good at all. Definitely gonna be hot tomorrow. Keep in mind that the average temperatures for the month of May are about the same as 89 degrees Fahrenheit. When we take a look at the thermometer, 89 degrees Fahrenheit is about the same as 31 degrees Celsius. So if we're gonna be receiving 4 degrees Celsius up above normal temperatures tomorrow. It should be anywhere from 31 to 35 degrees Celsius at most for Jamaica's temperature on Friday. As it relates to the dry ear map, we can see the dry ear is represented by the yellows, the oranges, the reds, and whites within those reds. But what we see on the key on the bottom, yes, Jamaica is embedded in some amount of yellows that represent dry ear, but we do see the rest of the Caribbean embedded in more blues. And well, we know the blues represent amount of moist here hopefully we get in on some of that but for right now jamaica is getting in on some amount of dry air as she lays the siren dust forecast for 2 p.m on friday we're starting to see some of the bronze represent the siren dust starting to make its way a bit northward into portions of jamaica we don't want to see that at all keep in mind that this is valid for 2 p.m on friday we see the bronze pushing all the way across the Mediterranean Farmer region into the Caribbean from Africa. Hopefully, persons are not, you know, triggered in terms of respiratory illnesses. We know the siren dust is famous for doing that. We might even see some hazy skies across the of some southern pressures if we actually look closely. As it relates to the wave forecast for tomorrow, we see a mixture of those lighter shades of blues and those darker shades of blues 
that represent anywhere from 0.5 for meter wave height to 1.5 meter wave height and uh, that's because the wind are not going to be that strong at all we see more bluish greenish colors that represent anywhere from 5 to 10 to even 15 knot wind and we see the general direction for the most part coming in from the east southeast especially on the south coast coming in more so from the east on the north coast either way where do we see all of this air piling up we see most of it piling up again across sections of some northern and western parishes in jamaica so we might have those cumulus clouds again becoming medium level rain clouds maybe even making it up to cumulus but status to bring some amount of afternoon thunderstorm activity to sections of the north and western portions of jamaica and with the upper level winds coming in from the west northwest for tomorrow it could favor more of that rainfall across sections of some northern parishes again if those high cold cloud tops are blown off towards the southeast could favor some of that overcast sky activity across some southern parishes either way more rain for northern jamaica and the rainfall forecast maps actually confirm this we don't see much in terms of rainfall for the morning hours but for the afternoon this map from the euro is showing 4 p.m eastern standard time and where do we see the blues are representing rainfall for the most part across sections of some northern and western parishes in jamaica and the thing is if we even take a look at the gfs map we're seeing much of the same the blues are representing rainfall mainly across northern and western jamaica so definitely some rainfall in store again for section of central western portland section of saint anne and saint mary section of trelawney section of northern saint elizabeth section of westmoreland hanover and saint james can get in on some of that as well but not everywhere in those parishes are going to be getting on that rainfall at all but i'm sure those persons are going to be grateful for the rainfall that they're going to be receiving and if we actually take a look at the accumulated precipitation forecast by both the euro and the gfs we see that the consensus is for yes some amount of rainfall gfs making more sense with most of the rainfall on the north coast euro up to 0 0.29 of an inch of rainfall for the totals from now until 10 pm on friday gfs showing up to 0 0.55 of an inch of rainfall for the total amount expected between now and 10 pm on friday and we see that's confined to northern jamaica which makes sense considering most of the afternoon rainfall will be across section of northern jamaica that time and we are indeed grateful we're in the month of may we shall receive up to 213 millimeters of rainfall during this month so we'll take all the rainfall that we can get to put some kind of a dent in the drought that some areas are currently experiencing all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let us focus our attention on the rest of the caribbean so we can see some thunderstorm activity firing up across section of the southern and eastern united states thunderstorm activity firing up across section of southeastern central america and the northern portion of south america as usual not to mention some isolated pockets of showers and even some thunderstorm activities taking place across section of the northern caribbean islands and even section of the leeward islands this is really so what we're seeing tonight on the doppler radar images of the northeastern caribbean we see some amount of activity taking place some rainfall off to the southwest of puerto rico some rainfall affecting section of the u.s virgin islands to the south of the british virgin islands are suffering to the south of the u.s virgin islands rainfall right now affecting sections of st kitts and nevis some rainfall to the east of guadeloupe st john's antigua definitely might get another somewhat of isolated shore activity tonight and if we actually load these images from about after 3 p.m today we saw where puerto rico got in on some amount of isolated showers today we can see it right there across section of central and southwestern puerto rico definitely got in on some amount of rainfall and if we take a look at the barbados radar we don't see much taking place right now not much of anything showing up we do see some isolated showers right there it's like what we saw on the other map showing that rainfall to the east of guadeloupe as relates to the wider view of the upload radar images we can see some of that rainfall affecting sections of northwestern venezuela section of colombia like what we saw in the visible satellite images not to mention sections of suriname and the french Guiana getting in on the mix 
as relates to this temperature forecast for tomorrow we can see that we're definitely going to be in for some above normal temperatures reaching all the way from the eastern caribbean this is the gulf of mexico getting more you know intense the more west and the north we go with all of these reds that represent even up to 80 even 9 degrees so it's above normal temperatures the caribbean for the most part should be getting in on anywhere from 1 to at least 4 degrees celsius above normal temperatures and we're indeed grateful that it's not going to be as intense as what we're seeing across section of the gulf of mexico as well as mexico as it relates to the siren dust forecast for 2 p.m on friday we see the browns represent the siren dust stretching all the way from africa across the main Devoma region into the caribbean and I'm sure some persons have already been receiving some of that. Maybe some persons as my sinusitis is already being triggered across sections of the Leeward and Windward Islands. Not to mention section of Northern South America, the ABC Islands getting on a mix. And some of this spilling into section of Central America, Belize as well. And we don't see it letting up anytime soon because all of this is stretching all the way from Africa and it's all pushing to the west. But we're indeed grateful that it's not that very vigorous plume. We don't see the dark shades of brown that we know causes hazy skies and triggers a lot of asthma problems and sinusitis issues in some people. As it relates to the wave forecast for tomorrow, we see a mixture of those lighter shades of blues and those darker shades of blues that we see by the key on the bottom right that represents anywhere from 0 0.5 for meter wave height to 1.5 meter wave height and that's because the winds are not going to be that strong at all you see more of those bluish greens and those brighter shades of greens that represent anywhere from 5 to 10 to even 15 knot winds and we see the general direction from the east maybe bending northwards and maybe from a east to east southeast kind of wind flow then pushing towards the northwest and then even curving to the northeast into the gulf of mexico but what about the wind the rain forecast sorry let's see what both maps are showing in terms of rainfall because you know we're looking at the consensus to what both maps are showing and where do we see most of the rainfall or where do we see rainfall that's going to be affecting sections of the caribbean within the next 24 hours so if it's not already happening right now there's definitely more rainfall in store for sections of southeastern cuba jamaica haiti the dominican republic puerto rico the eastern british virgin islands section of saint Kitts and nevis saint martin section of antigua and barbuda and guila guadeloupe dominica might get on some of the action as well looking southward we see section of southern honduras getting in on the action not only that but section of el salvador section of western and even southeastern nicaragua section of costa rica panama colombia getting in on the mix section of venezuela section of guyana suriname and french guyana and the thing is both of the models are showing this look at the gf the euro right here so that's the gfs look at the euro the euro showing something similar in terms of where the rainfall is expected and that's the thing when we're looking at these maps we have to look for the consensus and we're seeing the consensus with where the rainfall is expected i know that when both of the maps are showing consensus like this the chances of actually happening are much higher all right so that's it for today thanks for watching